We've all heard of this full stack AI development tool, one of the most reputable and qualitative products out there called Lovable. It's a no code AI platform that lets you create high quality apps and websites using nothing but plain natural language. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a pretty impressive tool and I really love Lovable, but for some, it is something that is kind of hard to actually access due to the paywall that is there and which is where it's hard to access and experience its full capabilities completely for free. But what if I am to tell you that there is a 100% local and open source alternative that is practically the same as Lovable? This is where I would like to introduce to you Open Lovable by Firecrawl, an open source AI full stack developer, or in simpler terms, an AI software engineer running right on your machine. Open Lovable takes the same idea as Lovable, generating apps and websites with natural language, but flips the script. Instead of hiding behind subscriptions or SaaS paywalls, it's built to be transparent, hackable, and self-hosted. Here's the wild part. With Open Lovable, you can choose and clone entire websites into modern React apps in just seconds. You literally just point in any sort of URL, it scrapes it, analyzes it, and rebuilds the site with React, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS. Then just like Lovable, you can tweak it through the chat interface, asking it to redesign layouts, restructure code, or even add new features. Like I had mentioned, this is something that's powered by Firecrawl's web scraping engine. Firecrawl handles the heavy lifting where it crawls the website, extracts the structure, content, and assets, then feeds it into the AI so it can rebuild the site as a clean React or Tailwind app in just minutes. In other words, Firecrawl is what makes it possible to turn any existing site into a fully editable AI-generated project. To get started, it is fairly simple. Just make sure you have the prerequisites fulfilled, make sure you have Git installed to clone the repo, make sure you have VS Code installed, this is going to be used to configure the environment variables and then packages like p and pm. And once you have all these prerequisites fulfilled, just make sure you also have the API keys ready as well, like Anthropic, OpenAI, Gemini, or Grok. You can use all these different providers. And for the Sandbox provider, you can even use Vercel. And it is also required to have the Firecrawl API because you're going to be using that to crawl the websites, to scrape the structure of different websites, to have it generate the app you desire based off the natural language prompt you send in. You also have the ability to use local models from Olama or different providers like LM Studio. But now let's actually get started and showcase how you can set this up locally. What you want to do first is clone the repo and this is by copying the git clone link. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below but go ahead to your command prompt and once you have this opened up paste in the git clone link and this will clone the repository onto your computer. Once that is done, you can head over to the open lovable directory by typing in cd open lovable within your command prompt. Once you are here, you can then install all the different requirements using the pnpm command to install all the packages that are necessary for this app to be functional. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After installing, what you can now do is open up VS Code and open up the open lovable folder that you just cloned. And just to reiterate, to open up the folder, just click on file and click on open folder and then find wherever you had cloned the open lovable directory and open it up within VS Code now. And what you need to do is simply right click on this left hand panel and click on creating a new file. And you want to name this .env.local. And now what we're going to be doing is configuring the environment variables. So we can add all of these different API keys that are essential for this app to be functional. You can either copy it from this uh, GitHub repo or you can just simply go into the dot example file and just duplicate it and then just rename it to local. So I'm going to be now pasting in this code and then providing in my API keys. After you have configured your environment variables, just click on file and click on save. And then now you can actually close VS Code, but obviously keep it open if you want to configure further endpoints. But now what you can do is just run the pnpm dev command within your terminal and then open up open lovable within the local host on your browser. So now within this directory, I can paste in this command and we're going to be able to now start it up within our local host 3000. So it should start up within a couple of seconds. 
and we're going to be now able to access open lovable within our local computer and there we go essentially this is the main dashboard of open lovable you can easily get started by entering a url or a search term so in this case if i want to clone the firecrawl website i can simply copy the url and then paste it in within this search tab over here now it's going to ask you a couple things like selecting the theme of your site that you want to basically replicate like a glass morphism theme i personally think that this would look best so i'm going to click on this one and then for the model of choice, select whichever one that you want. But in the additional instruction tab, this is where you can be as descriptive as possible. This is essentially where you can provide additional natural language prompts that you would want to incorporate within your app or your site. So if you want to add a calendar, you would describe a natural plain language that you want to add a calendar and you want to be as descriptive as possible. But once all of this is set, you can simply just click on scrape site. And this will essentially work on analyzing the website first by using the Firecrawl engine to scrape the contents of Firecrawl, and then it's going to work on developing it within a couple of seconds. So you can see right away that it is working on now coding out all the different components of our app, and it's fast as that, guys. It first analyzes, it scrapes the contents of the website, and then it starts creating a structure based off of that. And remember, guys, whatever I had generated was completely local. All of this was hosted off of my computer, and this was thanks to the Open Lovable platform. And remember, guys, you can even connect this with a provider like Olama, where you can get free generations out of this. And say if you want to configure other generations, you can simply go back to the AI chat and ask for other components to be generated. You can even select other models. You can even add a new sandbox directly. And then if you want to download the different source files, you can just simply download all of these source files within a folder that you can then export and use elsewhere. So now it has finished generating, so we can actually take a look at it by opening this up in a new tab, and there we go. We have the Firecrawl duplicated website that is based off of the class morphism theme. Now it looks pretty decent, but I wanna change a certain component and I'll showcase the AI chat panel where I can simply say, can you please change the theme to white and please fix the format. So I can simply go ahead and have it send in this prompt. And there we go. This looks a lot better. It looks exactly similar to the Firecrawl website and it uses the glass morphism theme. And in my opinion, this looks pretty good. The formatting looks nice and the theme was fully generated within a couple seconds. And if you don't want to add in any sort of URL, you can simply also describe what you want to create like a SAS landing page and you can click on the search button and it's going to work on finding the best contents to create that SAS landing page for you. And you can see that it has found a list of different SAS landing pages that you can instantly clone or add instructions to add your own twist to it. And there we go. Just take a look at the output. It looks pretty similar in my opinion if you compare the two landing pages. And overall, it did get everything right. Obviously, the font might be something that it lacks on, but it still got the main structure of the overall landing page right. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. This is the capability of Open Lovable by Firecrawl. I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. And I definitely recommend that you give them a star if you haven't already. This is a great free open source lovable alternative that you can easily get started with right away. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join the Patreon if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.